right, here we go. Um, this is video one of lesson five, and we are working on converting metric units. Okay, convert. What does that mean? That means just to rename them. Okay, so a meter is how many centimeters, right? So we're renaming our units, um, which is converting them. Uh, we are converting among whole number amounts within the metric measurement system to solve problems. All right, so I want you to think about a meter stick. All right, and I don't have um, any good pictures of a meter stick, but I know we have some in the classroom. So I'm just going to give us like a pretend meter stick here. All right, that's one meter, right? And if we have two of them, Try to make them look alike. There we go. That's two meters, right? Okay, now how many centimeters would that be in two meters? So this is two meters, right? M stands for meters, but we could also write it out meters. All right, there's two meters. Now I'm asking you how many centimeters is that? And you might know that one meter is 100 centimeters. One meter is 100 centimeters. So that means that two meters is going to be 200 centimeters. You got it. Nice job. Okay. Now, in your head, you might have just added twice, 100 plus 100, or maybe you multiplied it by two because we have two meters, so that would be 200 centimeters, right? Either way is fine. Let's say we had 32 meters, right? 32 meters. Okay, 32 meters. And we want to rename or convert, right, convert it to centimeters. Is it more efficient to add or to multiply? I don't want to add 100 plus 32 times, right? 100, 100, 100 plus 100 plus 100. That's a lot, right? So when we have bigger numbers, it's going to be better for us to multiply, right? So what multiplication equation would you use to convert 32 me meters two centimeters. What would you do? 32 times 100 because there's 100 centimeters in each one of those meters, right? And we know 32 times 1 is 32 and then we have our two zeros so that's 3,000 200 centimeters, right? We could also think about it moving on our place value chart. Of course, it's moving to the left because it's getting bigger and 100 is the same as 10 times 10. So it's moving two times over, right? So 32 meters is equal to 3,200 centimeters. All right, so let's explore that a little bit more deeply. Let me just clear this off. Now we said 32 meters. Oh, whoa, that's just a little too much. I wasn't looking when I was writing. 32 meters is equal to blank centimeters. Now I want you to pay super close attention because we're going to be using this to convert measurements all year long. Okay, so pay super close attention, right? 32 meters All right, is equal to 32 times one meter. Okay, so 32 meters is equal to 32 times one meter. All right, and we know that's true, right? Because we're just saying one meter. 32 times, right? 32 meters. Now, our factors are 32 and 1 meter, right? Factors, numbers that multiply together, okay? We are converting from meters 
to centimeters. So we can ask ourselves, how many centimeters are equal to one meter, right? And this is a little bit easy. We just talked about it, but this is because we're, it's going to get harder, right? So we're going to practice it with something that's easy. So keep listening closely. All right. So if there's 100 centimeters in one meter, right? Okay. So we still have 32 of them. But instead of one meter, now right here, we're going to write 100 centimeters. Okay, this is the part that I really want you to listen closely for because these two are equal to each other, right? One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So we are substituting, right? We are substituting our 100 centimeters for our one meter. But the 32 is staying the same. Do you see that? Okay, so what we're saying is 32 times 1 meter is the same as 32 times 100 meters. And then we have our answer, 3,000, did I say 100 meters? I meant 100 centimeters, right? 3,200 centimeters. So we're just substituting, okay? And how can these two numbers possibly represent the same length? The units are different, right? These are 32 meters, right? So 32 of those giant meter sticks that we have in the room that are about, right? Very large, right? And then each of those is broken into 100 little centimeters. Yeah, so if I have 32 meters, then I have 32 times 100 centimeters. See how it works? All right, very good. So let's go to page 47 in your book, page 47, and we're going to do some practice with this. All right, let me get to page 47 as well. Okay, and I think I have it. Let's see. Oh, I thought I did. Oh, there we go. Okay, 456 KL kiloliters is equal to how many liters? All right, so, okay, we use red this time. Um, First, we're going to write out 456, right? 456 times one kiloliter. Now, that might seem kind of silly. We're just expanding it out, right? 456 times one kiloliter. But the reason that you're doing that is because now is where the magic happens, right? 456 times how many? Oh, I'm switching it to liters, right? So how many liters are in a kiloliter? How many liters are in a kiloliter? And there will be an anchor chart on the board for you to check how many liters are in one kiloliter. There is 10 to the third power, okay? That means 1,000 liters in one kiloliter, okay? One thousand liters equals one kiloliter. Yeah. Okay. So now we have 456 times 1000 and we've been working on this for a while now, right? You can use your place value chart and move it. Or I should say this way. We're moving it to the left because it's getting bigger. So 456 and how many zeros is that? That's three zeros. Three zeros, 456 times 1,000 or times 10 to the third power is 456,000 liters, okay? But don't forget to make sure you write it out because this is where the magic happens. This is where you're substituting one kiloliter is the same as 1,000 liters, okay? Make sure you have that written down because that is your notes, very important, and... If you don't, you can 
um, pause and go um, and write it down. Sorry, trying to do too many things at once there. Okay, um, let's look at number two. We have 6,984, 85 grams is how many milligrams? All right, and this is also in your book, so make sure you're writing it down. Um, so once again, we're going to write 6,985 times one gram, right? So we start by just expanding this out, 6,985 times one gram, okay? Then we write it again, 6,985. 85 times how many milligrams are in one gram, right? Because these are going to be equal amounts, just different um, units of measure. So how many milligrams are in one gram is another thousand, right? 1,000 milligrams in one gram. So now we're multiplying 6,985 times 1,000, six nine, eight, five, and three zeros. Yep. And then we go back and put our commas every three, 6,985,000 milligrams. All right. Excellent job. Now this one, I want you to do by yourself, number three. And do you notice that we have the blank here? Blank centimeters is equal to 308 meters. That's something Eureka Math does because they want you to understand that the equal sign just means that these two sides are equal. It does not have to have the answer here and the question there. It can go either way. So this is exactly the same as if it was written this way. 308 meters is equal to blank centimeters. Okay, you can do it either way, but make sure you set it up just the same way that we've been doing. I want to be checking in your notes that you have it written down correctly, okay? And if you need to pause me and do it, please do that now because I want to see the work, all right? And I want to see you using your brain. Yes? Okay, so 308 times 1 meter is equal to 308 times... How many centimeters are in a meter? 100 centimeters, right? And these two are equal, right? It's still one meter. We're just breaking it into 100 centimeters. So then 308 times 100, 308. All we have to do is add the two zeros on, right? Think about moving it to the left on your place value chart. 3,800 centimeters meters. I know metrics are so awesome. Okay. Make sure that you have that in your notes. If not, pause me and get it done because I'm going to see you on the next video. Great job. Thanks everybody. Aloha.